I didn't enjoy the last period of the game uh, when we had uh, two players struggling with hamstrings and no subs. But other than that, I did. It was a, it's a really, you know, professional, positive performance from us. We played without fear, which you have to do here. I set them up that way um, because um, I had a, you know, after the Swansea result, I thought Jurgen would go very, very strong tonight. And uh, I think it was important that we didn't kind of sit deep and sit back against them and that we carried a threat. And uh, particularly in Jay and Howe for that first period, it was, uh, they did it off better than I could have imagined. Jay was terrific, I thought. Mm. Well, it's hard to know where to start. You guys are all here, you're all experienced uh, reporters and seen many, many games. But I don't think that's what you'd want to see going forward. Uh, if you're a Liverpool fan or a West Brom fan, firstly, there's no communication from the referee to, to us, like at the NFL, where they, they give you, OK, we're going to go to VR, there's a call. It's, is it a foul? We're going to look at that. So we didn't know what the decision was, why it was being stopped. OK, so then he reverses the Dawson goal, which I think, uh, if it wasn't for the system, would never have been disallowed in any league game um, um, for offside. The, re the full official told me it was for offside, so that was just a bit of a surprise from a corner. OK, I've looked at it. It's marginal, really marginal. And I think there's a question there. Are we going to start taking goals away from the, ga the entertainment of the games on sli those slight margins? And I think that's a worry. The second one, um, you, you could argue that Jay has lifted his arm to stop him. Would Salah have got it? Would he have got it in a normal game without VAR? I don't know. The bigger worry for me was, uh, I think it was four minutes, maybe five minutes, the Salah goal, uh, it's decision. And uh, so you're going from a high tempo work rate to nothing. We had a hamstring just after that. Um, so now as a coaching body, we have to change. We're going to have to get our players to mentally do a kind of a warm-up in that situation or keep themselves ticking over. You could say um, that's a lack of professionalism, I suppose. You could argue that against us, but I don't know. It's just bizarre. It was just... that's So there was a lot of Scouse whip from the sideline, which I enjoyed. Uh, there was some whip from our fans as it went on. Every decision, VAR, VR. I don't think that's really what we want, is it? So... It was uh, it was a bit strange. Yeah, and I think our fans started singing. Oh, it should have been four. It should have been four. Whether you, they'd seen it on the phone after or something, so you're getting that now. Of course, get social media and everything else. It gets flashed down the line. So, do you really want the fans to get it third hand? Does that make sense, or do you actually want to know in the stadium? And I think, I mean, I'm not. I ain't got the answers for it. So, but I'm just giving you. As a football person on the sideline, I'd, I wasn't comfortable with that first half. It was it was kind of mysterious situation at times. What does this result do for you moving forward for your season? Alan? Hopefully, it gives us confidence to be fearless and positive in our play, which I thought we was tonight. We have been actually since uh, we was very unlucky at West Ham to get a, to get a late. Uh, a late winner against us there. But we've been very good, very positive, without actually getting the three goals, four goals. And tonight, we look like a team who could get three or four goals. And, and that's a really good sign. We're going to try and bring a striker in before Wednesday. Um, and that will uh, hopefully lift us as well. Well, he'll, he'll stop reacting if someone doesn't come in, in my opinion. So when I was a footballer and uh, I played central midfield, we, if the club bought central midfield player, that was, that was me. I'm going to war on training. I'm definitely I'm not having that. He ain't taking my place. So, of course, there is a little bit of that in Jay going, coming forward. Solomon is playing, actually, I think, the best football of his career. And he didn't even play tonight. I left him out for Manchester City. So... Um, two strikers bang in form, which is really good news for us because that's what we've been hoping for. Uh, going back to VAR, do you think mm. it actually undermines the referee 
because he, there was a couple of times tonight he seemed to kind of think again after there was a, I don't know, appeal from the player or an appeal from the from the crowd. It seemed as though like to can affect his confidence. You mean? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. You know, I don't want to accuse him of that because I think there was a couple of things that went on in the box where the, the cop was shouting for VAR and, um, you know, it, it, and he didn't go to the VAR system and that. And obviously the Chelsea won last week or two weeks ago when they didn't go to VAR. It's a lot of pressure on him. I, I don't envy the uh, situation. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, you know, when you when you, when you beat, uh, come you're fortunate enough, and your and your team play very very well. I think um, you accept it's a bigger club, and uh, the, the emphasis will be on okay the failings of Liverpool and on, and obviously the VAR. I've got no problem with that. We just uh, take the confidence from the win. Uh, we look back on the tape and take uh, the good stuff we did going forward, uh, and that. And that's what we'll take to Manchester City on Wednesday, which is another daunting game for us. Would it be a relief if Manchester City Premier League can go out if it's a goal it's a goal, you'd have to wait for five minutes to celebrate <laughs> No, but you know, listen, you guys have seen perhaps more games than me. Certainly some of you. There's some who are a bit younger than me in there, but there are a few older in there. Uh, I don't know if you enjoyed it. I mean what do you, what you did you enjoy it? There you go, but there's the answer. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. <coughs>